Hey everyone, I'm back from my trip to LA and I'm so excited to share it with you and talk about how I use Notion to plan it. So let's just get started and I'll tell you guys a little bit more about how I did that. Hey everyone, my name is Jen Redfield and on this channel I talk about Notion, productivity, and marketing. And I've actually been gone for a little bit from my YouTube channel for two reasons. Number one, I have been working on my Notion template creator course, which is coming out this Friday. It's a course that teaches you how to sell Notion templates. I'm super excited for you to uh, see it. It's gonna be a really, really great course. And then number two, I've been traveling. I was in LA this week just having an amazing vacation. And I want to tell you guys a little bit about that, how I use Notion to plan that trip. So kind of the template that I made for myself. I'm going to be sharing with you some vlog footage from the trip as well as I'm going to be sharing with you some of my Amazon favorites for travel because I think I found some really great products and I was like so happy on this trip because I, I did some research and found some great items to bring when traveling. So it's gonna be kind of a mix of a bunch of different things in this video, so I hope that you guys enjoy it and stay tuned for all the stuff that's coming up. All right, so why did I go to LA? I actually lived in LA 10 years ago this spring and I hadn't been back since. I moved there my junior year of college to do an internship and class in video production. I was a film major at the time and I wanted to learn more about the film industry, so I moved to LA. And I lived there for five months, um, right in the heart of LA, right near the Grove. La Brea Tar Pits was right down the street. And so I was able to go back and revisit a lot of those spots. I will show you guys some clips from the trip and kind of walk through all the things I did over the four days I was there. But I wanted to share with you guys how I created a Notion template for planning the trip. Now, the two things that I used Notion for for planning this trip was number one, my packing list. So knowing all the things I needed to pack. And then number two, for planning out each day Day and figuring out what I was going to do each day. So having a list of all of the sites that I wanted to see as well as the restaurants and shopping. And then also there was a few friends I wanted to visit. So I utilized my personal contacts database and brought people into that so I could kind of block out when I could see people because I had to rely on their schedules and my schedule, figure out where I was going to be. Because when you're driving in LA, you it takes a long time to get from one place to the next. So I had to really plan out where I was in the city each day. Day, especially having a rental car. So let's move to Notion where I'll walk through a little bit about that. Um, it's a very simple template. I didn't do much beyond kind of what I needed and it was more for the pre-planning process. I didn't use it much while I was there, but more just to plan the trip. So this is my LA planning trip, I guess, template that I sort of made for myself. Now I started off actually with Notion's own travel template. So if you go down to where it says templates and type in uh, travel, you will see that there's one called a travel planner. So I actually started with this. I actually really like this just to get started, but I didn't like this packing list because I do things more in database form. So then I was able to use this the way that I wanted to. So one of the things, I'm actually gonna hide these. Um, so that kind of makes it a little bit less. So you can see here that I have it sorted into four categories, technology, personal items, clothing, and toiletries. And then I also added things like um, tags, which I guess I could probably also get rid of since I'm kind of putting them this way. Um, and then I also added the luggage. So which luggage piece were they part of? So with technology, you'll see that I obviously put a lot of things in my backpack. So I had a list of a ton of things. For example, like I had to make sure I had all the chargers and uh, my iPad, things like a selfie stick and my camera light, that sort of thing. So those are all part of technology. Then under personal items, I had more things like the backpack I was carrying, you know, just things like sunglasses. And then under health, I had things like, you know, vitamins, hand sanitizer. And then I had other things, you know, like cash, fanny pack, gum, etc. And then clothing, um, you know, I only had like a couple things each. So I just kind of figured out the things I needed. And again, you can change the status. I added packed um, as my status. And then the last one was toiletries. So this is the thing that um, probably was the most, uh, most things that I had. So I had things like uh, makeup, all, every type of makeup I needed, skincare, hair, teeth, um, eyes, which is like my contacts and glasses, and then any like body wash deodorant. So that was literally my entire packing list. And I made sure that I went through in my head everything that I needed for this trip. 
Then I went through and kind of figured out, okay, so I did use this schedule idea that they, that came with that original template, but what I did was I linked it and I actually added each day over here. So I added another database that was like each day so I could see like what restaurant I'd be going to um, and the schedule and the places that I absolutely had to visit as well as some shopping and the people I was talking to. So I'm <laughs> going to visit. So you can see here that I had that I had like kind of just like all the things I wanted to do and I did add a date over in the second column. So I was like, all right, I'm coming in on the 17th, the things I need to do. So I kind of just, in my head, I always knew I was gonna be going to Universal on the second day. So I'm like, that takes up a majority of the day. How do I schedule things around that? And then I also knew that I was gonna be going to the Academy Museum on the third day. So knowing all of this, this also helped me plan out when I was gonna be able to see my friends. So I gave them options. So I was telling people like, okay, I can see you Monday night or like early Thursday or whatever days it was. And that way I was able to see all three friends that I ended up visiting. And then also I had to think about where things were in LA because when you drive around, if you're going to Santa Monica, you can't go to Burbank within an hour. Like it's just like you can't um, get there in time. So I was kind of trying to stagger it based off of where things were together. So this was a really great way to kind of plan mentally in my head of all the things I was going to do during the four days I was there and be able to get to everything. And honestly, I was able to get to more than I, um, originally planned because I was able to, uh, you know, plan all this in advance. Um, I also made a list of all of the restaurants that I wanted to go to. I didn't end up going to all of them, but I did go to quite a few of these. So that was pretty exciting. I also was like, oh, I really just absolutely have to get to Ross. <laughs> I know it's crazy if you live near Ross that you're like, why do you have to go to Ross? There is not Ross's near me and I love going there. Um, I love cheap clothing. <laughs> and then finally, the list of my friends that I was potentially going to visit and see. So I kind of linked those here. So then you'll see on my actual trip itinerary, I have each thing each day linking to all the people that I was going to see, the places I was going to visit, and hopefully the, 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 the food I was going to get. Obviously, this wasn't exactly perfect, and I obviously had to make adjustments, but this was kind of how I planned it. Um, and again, I just used a basic template. This is all I did for the trip. It was very helpful for me as I planned it. So I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about the trip and kind of share with you some things that I ended up doing, and I hope you guys enjoy that part. It's kind of like a vlog. So I'm just going to walk through kind of my entire experience and if you're going to LA these are some things I recommend that you do because they were awesome so the first day I left very early on Monday morning and I flew via Sun Country to Los Angeles one of my biggest hacks is bring air tags with you I put an air tag in my car and I was able to always know where my car was um, in LA just based off of being able to see it on my phone so that was also helpful because I was parking a lot so the first thing that I did was I drove to the Grove which is is a mall in LA that I absolutely love. I actually used to live right down the street and I would walk to it all the time. And just seeing how it's changed over the last 10 years was really awesome. I was able to walk around and see everything there. And then I ended up driving down to Long Beach, which I had never been to before, to visit a friend, Jenna. You may actually recognize Jenna because she was on my podcast a couple weeks ago. And it was so fun to finally meet uh, like a TikTok friend in real life. And we had some, we made some fun TikTok. I'll show you guys some of them. And why aren't you in uniform? So the next morning I woke up very early and drove to Burbank to actually visit my old stomping grounds, which was my old internship um, Kappa Studios in Burbank, as well as uh, Porto's Bakery for breakfast, which is where I used to go for my internship. It was right across the street. I got an amazing smoothie and it was awesome. Then I took the Metro for the first time. If you haven't been in LA, I hadn't taken the Metro the entire time I lived there for five months. So it was definitely a learning experience, but I really enjoyed how fast I was able to get places. I then drove to one of the coolest places ever, Universal Studios, where I got to go to Harry Potter World. I got there super early. It was a Tuesday at 9 a.m. So I was able to get through like so many rides so fast. I was basically in line for less than five minutes for each ride. Um, my favorites were the Harry Potter ride, of course, as well as the studio tour. Um, getting to see all the things that you can see on that tour was absolutely fantastic. And I enjoyed the, that so much. And um, I definitely would love to go back. From there, I took the 
the metro to Hollywood Boulevard. I wouldn't probably have gone to Hollywood Boulevard, but I really needed to take this photo. Um, every 10 years, I have a photo in the same place. So in 2003, I visited LA for one of the first times ever and got to go to the Hollywood Walk of Fame and uh, to the, the Chinese theater and see the handprints. And I have this photo. And so 10 years ago when I lived in LA, I decided to recreate the photo. And now 10 years on, I decided to do it again. So I now have three photos, 10 years years apart in the same place and I'll probably do it again in another 10 years. From there I had some time to kill that evening I didn't have any plans so I decided to go down to downtown LA and I went to a couple of different places including the Grand Central Market. Um, I'd never been there before so I definitely got to explore a little bit. And then I decided to figure out another place to go. So I found this amazing overlook that um, had beautiful views of the city and I went hiking and, and there was a ton of people there. So that was really a fun. And then I ended up going to bed because I was super tired and knew that I had a busy day the next day. The next morning, I drove again to downtown LA to the Arts District and met with another TikTok friend named Mackenzie. And she and I had met on TikTok. Actually, I think we met on Twitter and we had coffee and that was super fun. Before I headed to the Academy Museum. The Academy Museum is um, an amazing museum that has been built in the last couple of years. Talking about the history of movies, I absolutely loved this museum. It was beautiful. It was very well put together. And then they had this really gorgeous overlook that you could see the entire city. And I was able to see where I used to live so that was really fun. From there I also walked over to LACMA which is the uh, Los Angeles County Museum of Art and they have those uh, famous uh, street lights and the, the lampposts so I took some photos there before driving down to go to Pink's Hot Dogs for lunch which is again another very famous place. Then I went shopping. I went to my favorite store, Ross Dress for Less. They don't have those where I live, so I was really excited to be able to go, and I bought a couple of outfits. From there, I actually decided to go to the uh, Getty Center. I had never been to the Getty Center. It's a free museum. All you had to do is park, and I decided to go to the Getty Center, and I absolutely had the best time. That place is so cool. If you're going to LA, highly recommend going to the Getty Center. It is beautiful. The gardens there are incredible had such a great time. Unfortunately, at this point, um, my phone was dying. Even though I had a backup camera or like like a battery pack, it still like, it, it drained that too. So I had to stop at Target and get a like phone charger for the wall and stand inside a, a Target like parking lot lobby for 30 minutes so that I could charge my phone because I was going on this night, white, night, uh, night hike with um, a, a friend from my hometown who had moved out there. So we ended up going to this amazing um, hiking area in Brentwood and ended up going for pizza after. So that was really fun to reconnect with a friend and just explore more hiking, which again, I never did when I lived in LA. It was super fun. On the last day that I was there, I ended up going and seeing my old internship and school that I went to. So the school um, actually isn't there anymore. It's moved locations because of the pandemic. Um, but I walked by my old apartment building and kind of the places I used to live. And then I decided to go back to the Grove. And I had a bunch of time to kill because my flight wasn't until like five something and it was like basically noon and I was like, what do I do? So I decided to drive and go to the beach in Santa Monica and I decided to walk there. Um, I ended up getting pretty sunburnt, so that wasn't great, but I ended up walking by a third street promenade and then I ended up driving to the Venice uh, canals, which I had never been to, um, which basically looked like you're in Venice, Italy, before finally returning my car and taking the flight home. And that was my whole trip. It was such a fun whirlwind four days. Um, but I want to talk a little bit about some of the things that I, I bought for the trip specifically because I feel like I hadn't traveled in so long, I had nothing. I had no like luggage, I had nothing that I could bring. And so all the stuff that I bought was from Amazon. So I want to walk through a few of the items with you. So I have ha traveled in the past and I had these huge things for my you know toiletries but I didn't like how big they were and they you couldn't see what's in them so I decided to find something like this where it's clear I can see exactly what's in it and this came with a three pack it was like seven dollars at Marshall's I think there's still some there so you should check it out and I bought three of these I put my makeup in there because again I was only gonna be gone for like four days best decision I ever did for the trip. It was so easy to pack and I was able to take them out for security. It was just super, super slick. 
The next thing that I highly recommend getting is a travel backpack. This is the one that I got from Amazon. It was so helpful. I, it was like having an entire suitcase on your back and I only had to use it basically on the plane and then just kept it in my Airbnb um, the rest of the trip. Some other things I got was my luggage. I actually got a tote bag instead of a wheeled suitcase because again, I was only gonna be there for a few days. I really like how this, you know, it fit in the plane. It was fine. It was easy to carry. I didn't have much in there besides clothes, so it wasn't super heavy. Highly recommend that. And then my probably my favorite purchase that I would recommend to everyone is my shoes. I walked at least 20,000 steps every day when I was there, and these Kidzix shoes so comfortable. I'm picky with shoes. Shoes and I do not do well. Because it was LA, it was like, it was actually kind of chilly out. Um, these shoes were great. I wore them every day. I wore them hiking. I wore them around town. I even wore them on the beach. Highly recommend. Another thing that's crazy is I thought it was gonna be warm there the whole week. So I, I brought one pair of pants and then the rest were shorts. And I ended up wearing the pants like three of the four days because it was not super warm. And from a Minnesotan, like I just thought it would be warmer, but it wasn't. So, um, you know, packing multiple things that you can layer is important as well. So that was something I needed to do. And then I also got this really nice vitamin pack. So that actually helped me travel with vitamins really easily. I really enjoyed that supplement container. Um, and it was kind of aesthetic, which I also liked. I also bought some stuff when I was there. So like I bought um, some clothing and I brought, a, I brought a hairbrush and just some other things that were there. Um, and obviously I bought a charger because having backup chargers with phones is so important when you travel. And I had brought in two and they still didn't last that long. So that was <laughs> interesting. And then the last thing, of course, air tags. I kept one on my keys because again, I was renting a car and then I put the other in the car, but I had to make sure I didn't forget it when I returned it. I almost forgot it when I was returning the car because I put it in like the um, cup holder and I remembered right before I had to turn it in so thankfully I brought that with me so that's what I would recommend for my travel essentials and that's kind of how I plan my trip I hope that you guys enjoyed this kind of walkthrough vlog of my trip this is a video that I was trying to figure out how to structure but I hope that it was helpful I learned a lot on my trip to LA I might do some more content uh, maybe on my podcast about it but I definitely learned a lot about myself and just how I have changed and evolved and grown as a person with my health and just my outlook on life and it was a really really I think healing experience for me so anyways if you're traveling to LA let me know where you're gonna go because I would love to know and hopefully I'll be able to get back there someday bye guys